happens when we try to be petty and have revenge hookups with other people. We end up having other people's babies and then other people's have our babies. Hey guys, it's Sharon. It is that time of the month and no ladies, not that time of the month. That is right y'all, it's about time that I reveal your dirty secrets. I think this is Dirty Secrets 9, wow. And they said she couldn't commit. Look at us now, who would have thought? Anyways, y'all know the drill. Maybe you're new to my channel and you actually don't know the drill. So every single month I ask my subscribers, you guys, to send me in your most embarrassing dirty secrets that nobody knows and now the whole internet will know after this, but anonymously, of course. So I do this every single month and we're about to do it right now. So if you want to see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If you do want to be in my videos just like this one, follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. And of course, subscribe for more if you want to see more. But enough about that. Let's get right into this. So go grab your snacks, your tea, and I don't know, anything else you can think of that you would need to spill some tea. Let's do it. I'm bisexual. I told my best friend and she was really mean and stopped being friends with me. So I slept with her sister while she was in the next room. I cannot believe this. That took a turn that I was not expecting, but honestly, I mean, if you're gonna stop being friends with someone because of their sexuality, it is what it is, sis, and that's just karma working their magic. In reality, though, was it really karma or was it the best friend? Take it as you may, sis, but this is actually kind of freaking iconic, so it does not matter who you love as long as you're happy. Thank you. Sometimes I walk around my house with my toy in me, and I live with nine other people. Do you not have any shame? I don't want to be the person that lives with this person. There's nine other people having to live and witness this, y'all. I mean, I guess they have no idea, so good for you, but what if they watch my videos. Nine roommates? That's a lot. What if one of them coincidentally watches this and they're like, huh, I live with nine other people. This sounds a little bit messy, apart from nasty. When I was eight, my friends and I would go around and put dog poop in little bags and stuff the bags in people's mailboxes. So you're the kids they make movies about. Gosh, I mean, why? Did you specifically hate this one person because they gave you an F on your spelling test so you put dog poop in their mailbox? Or were you just bored and had nothing better to do? Or did you think dog poop was like some mystical present? So many things I would like to know, but at the same time would not like to know because the last thing I want to do is open my mailbox and find a bag of poop. And I'm just saying, this may or may not be what inspires people to not have kids. Gross. I caught my teacher playing with herself in class and I recorded it and put it on Pornhub. Okay, two things wrong with this. Obviously, number one, teacher messing with herself in class. Sis, there was a time and a place for that. And let me tell you one thing, school, your job in a class classroom full of kids is not the time and the place. That's also a time and place that is very illegal to do that stuff on. Also, the fact that this person recorded it and put it on Pornhub, that also is um, a little bit illegal because you are recording someone doing some nasty stuff without their consent and putting it on the internet. So this sounds like a big fat court case for the both of you. I watched my sister having sex. Why? I don't want to ask if you're watching it because of your sister or because of the person your sister was doing it with. You know what? I'm just going to stay away from the topic because this is starting to sound a little bit like, what's that word? Incesty. Even though you're not doing it, you're still watching it being done and it's someone in your family and yeah, no thank you. I'm good. My wife fell down the stairs and had a miscarriage. She still doesn't know it was me who pushed her. So you almost killed your wife just because you didn't want another kid? I mean, you could have just told your wife, hey honey, don't want this kid, but this man straight up went by. I'm not raising a kid. What if your wife died, sir? Then you lost your kid and your wife? I mean, I guess that was a risk he was willing to take and I'm a little bit scared now. Please don't push me down the stairs. My first threesome was with my brother and my sister. So, um, yeah, I take it back. This is incesty. I'm just saying, imagine being their mom and just knowing that gave birth to these kids just for them to go sleep with each other. I'm gonna throw up now. Why would you? No, thank you. I know that my mom is cheating, but I also know that my dad is cheating. But the worst part is that they are cheating on each other with the same person. So I also know that my mom is gay. Wow. What are the odds that they're cheating with the same person? Mom's a cheater, dad's a cheater, mom's gay. I wonder if dad knows though. What if they're doing some really, you know, experimental stuff and they're all hooking up with each other? You know, I, I feel like that's a thing that parents would do when they get to the age where they're bored, right? I don't know, I'm just ballparking here. Is that even a term? It might be now. One thing to say to this person and that is good luck, Charlie. The kids I babysit have a single dad who is hooking up with his little girl's teacher and he has also slept with five single moms in our neighborhood. This dad
dad really likes to get around, huh? I mean, five single moms in a neighborhood? I mean, if he's gonna do that, at least, like, go a town over just in case, like, Rebecca finds out from, like, Becky, and then it all just gets messy, and the next thing you know, everyone's fighting each other at the parent-teacher conference. I feel like that's, like, the last thing this single dad would want, right? Or unless maybe that is what he wants, and that's what he's trying to do. We will never know. I am in love with my teacher, and he told me that if I came to school without underwear, I would get all A's for the semester. Sweetheart, listen to me. Your teacher's a pervert, he's a pedophile, and you need to call the authorities before I do. Just saying. I found out one of my boyfriend's old sex tapes with my stepsister. So does that mean you also found out that your boyfriend cheated on you with your own stepsister? That is messy, and that is juicy. I'm so sorry. I don't even know what I'd do. Honestly, I would probably mail back those tapes to him, and I'd just be like, thanks, Joey. We had a great run. I don't know, just like to let him know that I know, but you know what? But then you're giving him the satisfaction that you found out. Whatever, just throw them out. Throw him out. Throw your stepsister out. There. Easy solution. I randomly wipe my period blood on walls. I don't know why. I know why. It's because something ain't right. There's toilet paper for a reason. I understand that there's like a quarantine going on and people have been buying all the toilet paper ever, but like you got towels, you got like Chipotle napkins, you got paper towels. There is no need to be using your hands and putting it on walls. That is not cute interior decorating, guys. I'm a porn star and I caught my brother watching me. Does your brother know you're a porn star? What if he was just watching porn and he's like, oh my god, this looks like my sister. That's so weird. Or what if he knows? I can't even like let it go and be like, maybe he was curious because I don't even want to see my sister doing her job if that's her job, you know? So that's going to be one awkward Thanksgiving dinner. Yep. I was meant to give my boyfriend a BJ, but instead I gave a stepdad one and the stepdad didn't stop me. Hold up. How do you accidentally give the wrong person a BJ? That does not happen. I'm sorry. Whatever excuse you may have, the lights were off. It was really dark. It was in the middle of a storm. They look so much alike. I'm not going to believe it. That doesn't happen. And if it does, home says you really, really, really need to get yourself and your eyes in check. That's disgusting. I jerked off a guy during class. You guys need to stop doing inappropriate things at school, okay? Like, I am saying this not only as just a YouTuber, a person on your screen, I am saying this as a friend. I am trying to help you be a better person. Stop doing nasty things in public, especially school. Take it to the bathroom, in your backyard, behind a bush. Just do not do it in class. Imagine being like some kid just doing his math homework, just having the time of his life, looks to the side and there's a girl just going to town with this man's. Are you kidding me? I would move schools. My ex cheated on me with my mother, so I got with his dad. Now I'm pregnant with his dad's baby, and his mom is pregnant with his dad's baby, too. Wait! This dude hooked up with his girlfriend's mom, so the girlfriend hooked up with his dad, but his dad and the girlfriend's mom were hooking up the whole time, so now they're all related to each other and having each other's babies? I feel like this stuff only happens in, like, novelas, bro. This is what happens when we try to be petty and have revenge hookups with other people, we end up having other people's babies and then other people's have our babies. You know what we really should stop? Hooking up with our significant other's parents. That is so wrong on so, so, so many levels. I peed on my sister's toothbrush. Why? If I was this sister and I found out, I would be terrified to ever brush my teeth again. I would have to live my whole rest of my life with morning breath because I'm so scared to stick someone's urine in my mouth. That's messed up. When I was 17, I lost my virginity at a concert to the lead singer who is 12 years old older than me. He didn't know I was 17 because I said I was 23 and had a fake ID. This is like every fangirl groupie's dream right here except, listen sis, you were underage. So that is a little bit concerning, but oh my gosh, what if it's someone like iconic and legendary? Like, who is it? I need to know now. My twin and I play with each other under the dinner table every night. So not only are you doing unholy things with your twin, who by the way is biologically related to you, y'all share the same blood. Um, Y'all sharing some other things under the dinner table with the rest of your family there. Do you people not want people to ever eat again? This is a recipe for disaster. That was a pun. I caught my dog licking discharge off of my underwear. I remember in one of my old videos, I was like, ew, this person's dog is like licking their period blood. But then so many people in the comments were like, oh my God, my dog does that too. And I'm like, are dogs like vampires? Why do y'all enjoy period blood so much? Me saying, why do y'all? Like there's a dog watching my video and they understand what I'm saying. I don't know. Dogs need to get it together because that's some nasty stuff. I guess if they don't know it's period blood, then they don't know. But I know. 
and you know. I went to the bathroom, got my bloody tampon, and put it in my ex-boyfriend's coffee before he drank it. What did your ex do to you? Did he steal your car, murder your family? I don't understand. That's just, guys, I understand some of us need revenge, but putting a bloody tampon in someone's coffee for your period blood to end up inside that person's body, that's really, really evil. There's no way around that. It's messed up. <sighs> this man must have really done a number on you, sis. Mm -mm. My boyfriend cheated on me, so I slept with his brother in his bed. See, this is what people usually do for like revenge. They like sleep with their ex's best friend or their ex's like brother or sister, you know, not necessarily put their bloody tampon in their drink. But you know, like I said, to each their own. I like filling cups with my period blood and putting it in my siblings paint cans. Have they not noticed the smell? Like I'm just saying, I've painted before and my paint has never really smelled bad. It usually smells like paint. So I'd be very freaked out if my painting of like the sunset all of a sudden started to smell like the rotten sea. This is really gross. I like cheese and ketchup up on pancakes who raised you of all the crazy people I just write about in this video I think this is the craziest person ever cheese and ketchup on pancakes you're sick oh <gasps> I can't Ew. how did you discover this actually you know what nope don't want to know I don't even know what to think about these videos anymore like I feel they just get progressively worse and I am still surprised that that's even possible but you know what I've heard some really nasty secrets before and some really just gross and disturbing secrets that I wish I never heard but I think the one that has me most tripped up about this video is the person that eats ketchup on their pancakes listen I get it ketchup on omelets okay you know salty ketchup with salt it makes sense but pancakes what kind of a maniac I'm a little bit scared y'all I can not imagine. I mean, but maybe they're onto something. Maybe it tastes amazing, but I don't want to be the person to taste it and find out. So whatever. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have your own secret that you'd like to share and you got the guts to comment it down below, go for it. We ain't stopping you. Shout of the week goes to Rena on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you guys do want to be shout of the week, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And of course, if you want to see more videos, I have a bunch more on my channel that you can binge literally at any time and always. Like you can watch the rest of these eight dirty secrets videos if you really enjoy some some dirty secrets. And of course, you can subscribe for more. But with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!